There you are, Vestige. We must speak at once. Listen, Will. I have located a safe harbor from which we might plan our course of action. You must meet me there. I work upon a sandy shore, a stretch of beach outside a bustling city of elves, Vokelgard. The harborage is in a seaside cave outside the city. It is there that you will find me. Welcome to the Harborage Vestige. This is as comfortable a home as an old dried-up husk like myself could hope for. Despite my blindness, nay, because of it, my other senses seem to have heightened. This place had the right smell about it. Indeed, but let us not get ahead of ourselves. Without an understanding of where we are bound, every road will get us nowhere. Before we truly understand our destination, we must speak of the past. Of a sort. I invite you to enter my mind and walk with me through visions of the past, that you might understand the events that brought us to this time, this moment. Enter my mind, Vestige, and walk with me through the shadows of past events. Follow me, Vestid, and learn of the events that precipitated our current crisis. My part in the story began when I awoke on the steps of the Abbey of the Mock Priests, with no memory of my prior life. The Moth Priests took pity upon me and brought me into their fold. I was weak and near death. It was there that I first set eyes upon the Elder Scrolls and devoted my life to their stuff. The scrolls allowed me to glimpse the very fabric of reality, but each profound insight dimmed my vision and eventually left me permanently blinded to the light of the world. The prophecies of the Elder Scrolls are a fluid, living thing. They are not fixed. At many points throughout history, the actions of heroic mortals have rewritten them. I only know that you are important, Vestige. The Scrolls reveal to me that your destiny is intertwined with that of the Five Companions. The Five Companions were a band of adventurers who sought out an ancient artifact called the Amulet of Kings. They hoped to use this artifact to persuade Akatosh the Dragon God, to accept their leader as one of the Dragonborn. The Dragonborn are mortals destined for greatness, with the blood of the dragons in their veins. It is said that only a true Dragonborn can ignite the eternal dragon fires in the Imperial City. Baron Aquilarius, the son of the Colobian Duke, who led a rebellion against the Emperor Leovic and took the crown himself. Alas, Varon was not truly a dragon, as those who sit upon the ruby throne must be, in accordance with tradition. You have already heard enough babbling from this old blind fool. It is time you met the five companions yourself and witnessed their fate. The first companion, Lyris Titanborn, daughter of giants, was the mightiest warrior in the service of the Emperor. Next, Abnathar, a powerful sorcerer, Grand Chancellor to the Imperial Elder Council. The Red Guard Swordmaster, Sai Saha, leader of the Imperial Dragon Guard. The Imperial Emperor, Baron Aquilarius who attempted to light the dragon fires and failed. And finally, Manamago, the traitor, the king. 
king of worms, a powerful necromancer, and your execution. These were the five companions who set out from the Imperial City on an epic quest to recover the lost Amulet of Kings. Many Marco convinced Varen that the Amulet could be used to perform a ritual that would rekindle the Dragonfires. He claimed this would please Akatosh and entice him to adopt Varen as one of the Dragonborn. By tradition, only the Dragonborn can lay claim to the Ruby Throne and rule as the one true Emperor by divine right. Varen conquered Cyrodiil and took the throne, but unless he became Dragonborn, he feared he'd always be thought of as a pretender. Each of the five companions were chosen for their skill and courage, and each was given a special role to perform in the party. Who would you like to know more about? You've already met Lyris. She's a Nord warrior from the frozen lands of Skyrim to the north, and it is said that her family lineage contains the blood of giants. Varen chose her for her strength and her loyalty to be his personal bodyguard. Sai Sahan came from a long line of Redguard Swordmaster nobles. He was the leader of the Dragon Guard, the security detail of Varen and the Elder Council. While Lyris was Varen's bodyguard, Sai was charged with protecting the entire group. The Therns are one of the most influential families in Cyrodiil. Abner, their patriarch, is the leader of the Elder Council, a powerful battle mage and a shrewd politician. With his council, Varen was able to seize the Imperial throne years before. Manamako the traitor! The great enemy, the most powerful necromancer this world has ever known. His worm cult infiltrates and corrupts every corner of Tamriel. It was he who convinced Varen to perform the ritual you are about to witness. Disaster, war, and pestilence. A world brought to its knees. Now watch and see how one man's arrogance brought about the greatest threat our world has ever known. Is the dragon fire brazier Manimarko? It will this work, will work. My liege. The amulet of kings will rekindle the dragon fires and ensure your rightful place as emperor. You have my word. It better work, Manimarko, or you'll find your neck at the business end of my axe. My lord, I wonder if you'd muzzle your half giant pet. She really is annoying. Enough, both of you. We are here to ensure my lord's rightful claim to the ruby throne. Abner, begin the ritual. I have a destiny to fulfill. Yeah. By the lighting of the dragon fires, I claim my rightful lineage. By the fires of creation, let me be reborn. By the will of Akatosh, I proclaim myself Dragonborn. Baron Aquilarius, you are no heir to Alessia. You will pay for your sacrilege. The veil between Tamriel and Oblivion tears and splits asunder. What's happening? The sky is opening up. This is bad. This is very bad. Ah! This, this isn't supposed to happen. What's the meaning of this? Manny Marco, what have you done? You fools! The veil between Oblivion and this world has been torn. My master, Molag Baal, is free to claim Tamriel for his own. Akatosh, forgive me! Have mercy on our souls! The ritual tore the veil between Nairn and Oblivion 
allowing Menemarco to begin stealing the souls his master needed to power the Dark Anchors and initiate the Plain Mountain. Akatosh gave Alessia the Amulet of Kings as a symbol of his covenant with Nern. So long as the amulet remained in the care of Alessia's heirs and the dragon fires remained lit, Tamria would be protected from the Daedra. Manamako tricked Varen into breaking the covenant, and the veil between Oblivion and Nern was torn. The Elder Scrolls named this event the Soul Burst. It gave Molog Baal the opportunity to disconnect the souls of Nern from their hosts. Varen was lost. In the chaos of the moment, Sai Sahan took the Amulet of Kings and fled. Leris was captured by Menemarko and delivered to Cold Harbor, the realm of Molog Baal. Tharn remains Chancellor of the Elder Council, and his daughter Tribio rules as Empress Regent, but the true power remains in the hands of Menemarko and his worm cult. When I discovered the truth about the Five Companions, I made subtle inquiries, but apparently not subtle enough. Manamaka got word of my interests and abducted me. He took me to Cold Harbor, where I remained a prisoner until you freed me. The truth is always a threat to evil men. Manamaka feared I would reveal his treachery, and if knowledge of Nan's vulnerability were to become known, it could threaten his master's schemes. Molog Baal does not favor loose ends. Walk with me. Long ago it was written, so long as the amulet of kings was borne by Alessia's heirs, Tamriel would be protected from the forces of oblivion. But the soul burst tore the veil between worlds and gave Molog Baal the opportunity he desired. Merlock Bowles' dark anchors pierce the tomb of them and seek to draw him near into the depths of Cold Harbor. These terrible engines of destruction successful, he will merge our world and his own in a terrible plane mill. Few will survive the ordeal, and those that do will be enslaved for all eternity. And so it falls to us, Vistage. We must stop Molog Baal and his dark anchors, or our world is doomed. And now history seems to have caught up with us. Shall we return to the harborage? As you say, And so it begins. The remainder of the story has yet to be written. It is your story now. And there is so much to do. But know this. You will not walk this path alone. We must grow in strength and in numbers. You will need more than the company of an old blind man to alter the course of history. We must assemble our own group of companions. The first you have already met. Lyris sacrificed her own freedom to allow us to escape. She remains a prisoner in Cold Harbor. I must determine her precise location if we are to mount a rescue. That will take time. Minamarko's agents leave a web of lies and deceit. They pit the races of Tamriel against one another and divert their attention from the real threat. Seek out these agents, wherever they can be found, and expose their lies. Forgive me. Bringing you to my mind seems to have taken quite a toll on me. I must rest. I will contact you when the time is right. Until then, walk in the light, Vistage. <laughs>